And what's your strategy on meal timing? I know we had talked about this yeah. in the past. I think for a while you were doing kind of OMAD one meal a day. How are you timing up your meals? And then yeah. how, do you, so, how do you dial that in for patients? Exactly. So here's how I do it personally. Now I'm about 100, 165 pounds um, strong. I'm, a, I'm about 8% body fat, right? So mostly just muscle tissue. And um, the way I do it is I work out four days a week. When I work out, it's very intense, uh, strength training. So I'm usually working out for about, I don't know, 45 minutes or so, strength training. Uh, Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday are typically my strength training days. And um, what I do is on Wednesday and on Saturday, I only do one meal, okay? I do one meal on those days. Usually it's lunch, okay? It's whatever's most convenient for me. I'm usually eating lunch. I find that I just uh, do best at that time, right? So one o'clock, two o'clock, something like that. Um, having a, a really good, really good solid lunch. And then that's it, you know, just hydrating outside of that. And then on the other days, I'm consuming two meals, lunch and dinner, right? Now, typically my dinners are, are usually my largest meal of the day, okay? I'm consuming a lot, of, a lot of food, right? I mean, I'll easily consume 1,500 calories or so, uh, you know, at a typical dinner. All right. And usually my lunch, if not, I mean, I probably could even consume 2000 calories in my dinner. And mm -hmm. my lunch is usually probably somewhere around uh, 500 to 800 calories, somewhere in that range. Okay. And uh, yeah, that's how I do it. And I, I function amazing. In fact, my best sleep, my heart rate variability gets really high um, on my fasting days. Uh, so when I'm, when I'm sleeping, Wednesday night and Saturday night. It's like I wake up the next day. I just feel amazing, like so good. And that's why I do it. In fact, if I didn't lose weight when I would do one meal a day, if I didn't lose weight when I did it. So what happens is I tried that and I started losing muscle. I started losing weight and I'm already very lean as it is, right? Very, very thin, uh, five foot 11, 160, 165 pounds. So, um, so I feel amazing when I'm fasting, but obviously I don't want to lose weight. So, um, so that's why I do the two meals five days a week, one meal two days a week seems to work amazing for me. Now, when I do eat, I eat a lot of food, right? My wife's always like, wow, you're eating a ton of food. Yeah. So in order to be able to digest that food effectively at its most effective level, I take a lot of digestive enzymes, okay? From time to time, if I'm under more stress, I'll take a little bit of stomach acid support, a little betaine HCL. Typically, yep. taking a bunch of digestive enzymes uh, works great for me, okay? And that works well. And then I also take a supplement that has uh, curcumin, so turmeric, right? And it's also got a whole bunch of bitter herbs. Um, it's called fermented turmeric, right? It's got a bunch of different bitter herbs that are really good for stimulating digestive juice yep. production. So I take a combination of those, and my digestion's great, okay? And, That's great. Uh, yeah, feel really good with it. And then That's typically excellent. my lunch, most days my lunch is liquid nutrition. So usually I'm making a smoothie with collagen protein, yeah. uh, coconut milk, avocado in there. That's usually my lunch and I might munch on like a, a cucumber that, that I cut up and put some lemon juice on, some salt and some herbs, right? Or maybe radishes, I'm, I'm crunching, you know, chewing on some radishes. So it's usually some sort of raw vegetable along with this sort of smoothie. And then for dinner, it's usually uh, a lot of meat. So whether it's grass fed beef or we do like the uh, grass fed beef hot dogs. I don't know if you're familiar with those. Yep. Those work great. Lots of vegetables. So like steamed broccoli or cauliflower. We make uh, mashed potatoes out of cauliflower all the time. So cauliflower mashed potatoes, um, broccoli with butter. So we do a lot of that. Um, you know, we started using this thing called palmini. I don't know if you're familiar with that, but it's hearts of palm. It's, oh, it's yeah, yeah. pasta. It's pasta with hearts of palm. And then my wife makes this amazing pesto, right? So we put pesto on that, which has got olive oil and avocado and yeah. uh, pine nuts and all kinds of stuff like that. So it's, it just tastes great. We put chicken with that. So different things, different, different meals like that. So that's typically how I'm doing it. That's great. Excellent. Yeah, I do something similar as well. Typically, my day in, day out, I'm having some level of coffee in the morning with some butter and MCT and a little bit of collagen. And that's my breakfast. Somewhere three, four hours later, I'll have a nice glass of celery juice. And I'm typically yep. drinking mineral water throughout the day. And then my lunch is going to be a big salad. Typically, it'll be about four, maybe five servings of vegetables. It'll be a full avocado, maybe six to eight ounces of, of chicken, chicken thigh or chicken breast with skin on. And then an olive oil, olive oil, apple cider, kind of uh, sea salt, pepper type of salad. And then dinner will be some level of non-starchy veg if 
maybe a little bit of starch in there, squash or sweet potatoes, and then mostly meat and vegetables. And then typically my Saturdays, my wife and I will have a date night and we'll do like a steak restaurant and now I'll, I'll just yeah. fast all day and I'll yeah. just have that one meal when I go out to eat typically that one day. And it's nice. I'll, I'll still do coffee with a little bit of MCT just to kind of yeah. start my day off and get those ketones up. And then I'll just kind of ride that high all day long. And people listening, if you have a lot of hormone issues or thyroid issues or blood sugar issues, you have to have some level of one, metabolic stamina and balance before you do it. And two, you have to have really good digestion like you mentioned because now your meal is probably twice as big when you eat at nighttime and you really need the enzymes and the acids and good digestive function to be able to handle that load. Yeah. I mean, I think that's really, really important is, uh, you know, for me, for example, I don't actually get hungry I don't feel hungry throughout the day. I don't get hungry till I start eating. Yeah. Once I start eating, I'm like, okay, my body wakes up. It's like, okay, I need a lot. I need food, right? Uh, and that's actually when I get hungry. So for me, it's very liberating. Fasting is so liberating because I, I just don't even think about food. I'm not hungry. I don't have cravings. My body feels great. My brain feels amazing, feels alive. So it's so good. But you're right. I mean, fasting is a level of fitness. It's kind of like, right. you know, if you were to just... If, you, if you've never exercised and then you think, okay, I'm going to do a 5K and uh, I'm going to sprint a 5K, obviously it's not going to happen, right? You're, you're, I mean, you're going to be so sore and beat up. So you got to kind of lean into it, right? And I always yes. tell people, start with 12 hours overnight. 12 right? by 12 so, is the easiest to start with, you know, a 7 to 7 or an 8 exactly. to 8. Yep. Simple fast, just like that. And then do the water like we talked about in the beginning of this, yes. of this interview, right? So you just hydrate your body well in the morning and allow for the natural hunger to come out. 